investigate the troubling prevalence of anti-Semitism in the United States. Among Jewish people last year, one in four say they were targeted by hate. WBZ's Jordan Jagelinzer is live in Boston. Jordan, there is no overstating the toll that takes on a sense of personal safety. Absolutely, David and Lisa, especially with another incident happening right here at the New England Holocaust Memorial in Boston. Now, this as hate crimes in a new report appear to be on the rise. Percent of American Jews now look at anti-Semitism as a very serious or serious problem. Troubling numbers in a new survey released by the American Jewish Committee looking at the state of anti-Semitism in the U.S. 85% of American Jews polled under 30, described in the last year having experienced anti-Semitism. Rob Likend is the regional director of the AJC. He says the report is one of the largest ever combined surveys of American Jews and the U.S. public, and it shows an alarming rise of hatred against Jews in the country. We're seeing increased violence against Jews. The survey found a 10% increase of Jewish respondents who consider themselves less secure than a year ago, with more anti-Semitic attacks happening across the country and right here in Massachusetts. You have incidents that range from a rabbi getting stabbed in Brighton to, you know, the swastika on a wall in a school. Most recently in Boston, a group of people kicked the glass panels paying tribute to the victims of the Holocaust at the New England Holocaust Memorial Friday night, a memorial that's also been vandalized in the past. Celine Sanborn of Cambridge has personally experienced anti-Semitism herself. I remember my second week of work, I had the director of corporate relations who basically told me that he didn't care about Jews unless they were giving money. Both her and Lycan have guards at their temples. The synagogue was a place that you would just go and walk in. It was a place you could feel comfortable and safe. Uh, today, during prayer times, there's usually an armed guard there. For Sanborn, she used her experience for the better, switching jobs and becoming a Jewish life coordinator. I really want to be the support that I didn't have. Through the hatred and violence, though, the community is coming together for the better, mobilizing with each other to spread awareness locally. We in the Jewish community are all working overtime to both to educate and to take concrete steps. Something that the city of Boston is working to do as well. Coming up on WBZ at 6, what the Boston City Council president had to say about the incident that happened here over the weekend. Live in Boston, Jordan Jagelinzer, WBZ News. Jordan, thank you.